Cordage making is an important skill for survival in the wild. Cordage is made from two or more strips of fiber twisted or plied together. Native Americans have a vast knowledge of cordage making. They make rope and string, nets, fishing lines, sandals and shoes, mats, baskets, belts, straps, and other items from natural materials like deer grass, tule, Douglas iris, sedges, cattail leaves, ferns, dog bane, and more. Today, we will learn how to make a cordage bracelet using a non-native fiber called raffia, which is easy to find in local craft stores and comes from the leaves of palm trees. Here are the materials that you will need to make your cordage bracelet. A 30 inch piece of raffia or other natural plant fiber, a bowl of water to soak the plant fiber in, and four beads for decoration. Many Native Americans use a technique called thigh rolling to make cordage. We will be teaching you a simplified way for making cordage, but it does require two people for a couple of the steps. Step one, soak your raffia in water for about five minutes before making your bracelet. Step two, Find a family member who can hold one end of your raffia while both of you twist the ends in opposite directions. Step 3. After the raffia is twisted very tight, have one person pinch it in the center. Then bring both ends together and release the middle. If twisted tight enough, it should twist around itself when the middle is released. If not, you can try again. If you don't have a second person to help you twist your raffia, you can try making a loop in the middle of your fiber and twisting away one side of the fiber and crossing it over the other. Continue twisting away and crossing over until you reach the end of the raffia. Step 4. String a few beads onto your cordage. Step 5. Thread the loose ends of the cordage through the loop at the center fold. Step 6. Size the bracelet to fit over your hand, approximately 8 inches, noting the widest distance. Step 7. Thread a fourth bead on the end. Step 8. Tie an overhand knot once or twice to keep the bead from falling off. This bead can be used to tighten the bracelet. It also helps to lock your bracelet in place when you put it on. Step 9. Trim the ends of your bracelet with scissors if needed. Step 10. Enjoy wearing your new cordage bracelet. This cordage bracelet making activity comes from our fourth grade California Indian Uses of Plants lesson, but we feel that people of all ages would enjoy this fun activity.